What's going on YouTube? Jake DeAndrea coming at you guys with another video on how to change your slider text. Um, this time I'm doing it on my brand new out of the box jailbroken um, fourth generation iPod Touch. Um, I jailbroke it probably a day yesterday actually. I jailbroke it and um, I have I have a custom slider on here. I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, god damn this notification. All right. So anyway, it's basically the same thing as jail um, changing the slider text on the uh, 4.1.1 iPod Touch. Let me show you guys the one that I did another video for earlier. It's basically the same thing. But um, you still need sinful iPhone repo, which um. This I got a new camera and this one is a lot better. Um, I apologize. I'm apologizing for once for the shittiness of my other camera. It is a piece of crap. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you guys could have actually seen my video. But uh, anyway, sinfuliphonerepo.com. Then you go to search Cydia. Now this time you want to type in my. You want to still type in my. S T R I. And then you still download my strings cracked. So then you restart your springboard. So then what you want to do, go to winterboard, activate my strings. Now the trick with this is, um, I found it to be a little tricky to use. Um, you can't be, um, if you want to do slider colors, it doesn't matter with this. You can do any one you want with this version. This one, I recommend for best quality and for the easiest to use, I recommend Slide to Unlock Killer Text Color. It's easy to find on YouTube. You don't need, actually, yeah, you can just use the Sinful iPhone repo source um, to download that. So, what you guys want to do is every time you change your slider on my strings, you have to deactivate and reactivate my strings. That's what I don't like about um, the 5.1. Point one software for my strings. That's what I don't like, but it's it's still a hell of actually iFile is very difficult to use with this because it's just tough to find the um see mine says American muscle Chevy bitches. Um but still so you still go to settings, still go to my strings. It's basically the same thing guys, but I just wanted to make it perfectly clear that it's it's a little harder to use, especially because you have to resync and sync my strings to do it. And um, just a little preview of what I'm going to be doing my next video on: how to get that on an iPod Touch. Just, just giving you guys a quick preview. Look, something to look forward to in my later videos. So, um, just, just to recap it again, if you're gonna use, oh, by the way, if you're gonna use um, a custom slider like how I have my Chevrolet slider, um, make sure you first do your text, activate my strings, then you make sure that you do your text, respring after each time and then do Chevrolet slider and respring if you have a custom slider it could be Apple, Ferrari, anything you guys want but um, just make sure you respring in layers because in my experience with my iPad 2 and this it's just a hell of a lot easier to do and then you get that just that great look that you want and uh, I'll also be doing a video on how you can get that instead of the iPod symbol so Alright guys, I'm signing off. Like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment below. And have a good day.